Okay, let's get at it. Good morning. It is November 23rd, 2021. Day 175. And it is colder than words I'm not allowed to say on video. Um, it hit around 14 or 15 last night. And... It is chilly still this morning. Um, frozen boots, frozen feet. I was able to play the drums, use my socks as drumsticks, the ones socks I left out overnight. So cold, cold night and morning. But the sun is out, so maybe that'll uh, help things out as the morning goes on. We just left Tri Corner Shelter down there. Big old shelter. I don't think I got a uh, picture of it at all. But uh, it was a big shelter. There were uh, three section hikers in there and two other Sobos with us. Um, so there was a lot of shared misery. So that was uh, um, nice. Today, um, we've got 15.7 miles. Um, and that's a, a bunch of climbs. We're going to, uh, we're probably, we camped at about 5,900 5, feet last night. And we're going to pop up to around 6,200 feet and be up there for a little bit. I don't remember the names of any of the, uh, climbs we're doing today. But, uh, so we've got this morning the, the climb to get back up to full altitude um, which will be up there for a few miles before we drop down and then this afternoon we climb up again to uh, above the 6Ks as we pass the boulevard and other places like that that we have hiked previously which is kind of neat and then the big news of the day What's the big news of the day? I bet she can't hear me. She's too far ahead. Um, we are popping out on Newfound Gap Road. And against all our previous statements, we are going into Gatlinburg. Tonight's supposed to be another uh, night down in the teens or at least the low 20s. And it would be a good night to uh, warm up again. So we're going to... Uh, do our 17.7 to Newfound Gap Road, get a shuttle into Gatlinburg for the night. And that's the plan. I don't know if this is good or bad, but my feet are starting to warm up, which means that instead of being numb, they're now hurting. <laughs> so we'll see how today goes, but at least we've got a light at the end of the tunnel when we hit Newfound Gap. Okay. We'll see you out there. Okay, we just passed over the top of Mount Chapman, which is the top of our morning. We're at about 6,200, 6,250 or so. Sorry, on cold days like this, uh, I'm rattling off the elevations. <laughs> um, but the good news is, that's the top of our morning. So now we're going to... Uh, Descend a little bit, not a whole lot, but uh, we've got a couple downy yuppies since there are more downs than ups until um, we get to around Laurel Top and uh, begin our afternoon climbs. So, certainly not done with our climbs for the morning, but uh, we've at least hit the top of them. And uh, the sun is absolutely out there. But uh, it hasn't uh, figured out a way to warm up the air at all. So we are bundled in every one of our layers. I think it's the first day either of us have uh, 
actually hiked in our puffies. So for me, I got a base layer mid-weight fleece on and then my puffy and my rain jacket acting as a windbreaker. How's the weather this morning? It's chilly. It is chilly. It is quite chilly. Uh-huh. But we at least have sun pretending to try and warm up. It's there. It's just blocked by the trees. It is blocked by the trees. But it's a nice trail through the woods right now. So I will take it. And uh, through the trees you can see uh, mountains. mountains and stuff. Pretty darn awesome. It would be awesomer if it was about 15 degrees warmer. Probably 10. Okay, maybe 10 even. But uh, it's still a pretty cool looking morning. Happy to be on trail. Okay, we're uh, most of the way up climb three of six and it's still cold. So normally uh, we get part way up the first climb and we start peeling layers. We still have every layer on and the wind's picking up along the ridge. So it's gonna be a chilly uh, rest of the morning, I think. But we are getting her done. So all is good here. See ya. Okay, this is our first official viewpoint. I can't wait till we get to Charlie's Bunyan. I think we're gonna have some good views from there. All right. Okay. If nothing else, cold days are crisp and clear. Nice views. Tell me that was the point two you were talking about. I think that was the uh, the steepest point two of this climb. Because that was rough. <laughs> That's gorgeous though. Uh-huh. I do love these Smoky Mountains. Looking into North Carolina right now, folks. And it is beautiful. Getting closer and closer to, closer to uh, Lacan, even though we're not gonna be going over that mountain. Not on this trip, um, but it's been kind of neat as we've been wandering along, getting closer to it. We're probably about a mile, I think, from uh, Charlie's Bunyan. Um, we're, and we are gonna take that side trail and check out the views. It should be nice. Uh, we just had some lunch. And when we get to Charlie's Bunyan, that's gonna start our last climb up. Um, so uh, we'll head up from Charlie's Bunyan to kind of the Boulevard Trail, which is what cuts across to uh, um, to Mount Lacan. And obviously pass that by and keep going on the AT till we hit Newfound Gap. Let's see if I can get down this without slipping and breaking my neck. But been a good day still. Still chip nippy and uh, Fingers still uh, screaming a little bit at me after uh, having the gloves off during lunch. But we are making our progress for the day and feel like we're almost out. Okay, enough babble. Time to hike. We are trying not to fall down these rocks, but otherwise, doing the side trail to Charlie's Bunyan. It looks like we've got an awesome, awesome day for it. Okay, 
sneak preview before we actually get out there. Okay, I'll wait till we're on the bunion itself and then I'll start up. We're less than a mile from uh, Newfound Gap Road. Figured I'd show a little bit of the trail that we've been following for the last few miles. It's alternating from uh, ice rink to frozen waterfall to uh, slip and slide. So it's been kind of fun, or at least uh, interesting, making sure we watch every step since every other step is on ice. But we're making it. No, it's not bad because there's a way to get through. So. Yep, usually there's a path around the ice. We're at Newfound Gap. End of our day. It is awesome. And it is also pretty packed. But trash cans and flush toilets. Woohoo! All right, end of day 175. Yay, we are not freezing our butts <laughs> off right and now. And it's not dark outside. Well, it is dark outside, but we're not outside. That's right. So we uh, decided that our uh, 14 to 16 degree shelter night last night was more than enough for us. It was cold. It was really, really, really cold. Yeah. So against our, in fact, since before this trip, we've been saying we are not getting out on Gatlinburg through it's, the Smokies. It's not an easy um, shuttle out. It's not a... It's a fun town, but it's a seriously touristy town. We weren't going to come out. It's really close yeah. to home, so we weren't going to come down yeah, here. But, but it's cold. It's cold. So, so it here, here we are. <laughs> so, uh, um, okay, so we did 15.7 uh, miles today. We, did. we started at a Tri Corner Knob Shelter. We did. Um, freezing our butts off at, with uh, a couple of uh, weekend hikers who decided to bail after last night. They were out um, for a three or four day trip and yep. they did one night and said we're done. And then a couple other Sobos, other Sobos who are, are still, out uh, they're still out there. Yeah, they're hitting, they're hitting the next shelter. Um, so good for them. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see, so we saw Charlie's Bunyan. Um, we did. It was really nice, uh, great views from there. Mm -hmm. um, got to Newfound Gap, so mm -hmm. there were uh, nice views from there too. There were. And, uh, Got a shuttle into <laughs> so. so one of the things that was cool for me today is we were walking the ridge line between North Carolina and Tennessee, and we've walked part of this ridge line before. We've been out to Charlie's Bunyan before, but it just was spectacular. Yep. And the sun came out, and you kept saying, "Which side of the mountain are we on? Which date are we in?" Because when we were in North Carolina, the sun North was Carolina hot, so we were had a warm, lot better weather than and uh, then Tennessee we would today. Flip over the ridge into <laughs> Tennessee, and it would be chilly just because the sun couldn't. Reach yeah, the sun wasn't trees. over there. The wind was uh, all on that side of the ridge, and the trail was very, very icy, yep. particularly the last couple miles into Newfound Gap. So yep. we had very tricky footing. Yep. But, but yeah, uh, we it was a good it out. day, and yeah. we did warm up eventually. And it is the first day that we have both hiked in our puffy down jackets. Yep. We normally reserve them for nighttime because we don't want to ruin them. They're nice jackets, yep. and they can't get wet or sweaty or anything. Um, they did not get sweaty today because they were so <laughs> stinking cold. Um, but we both had to hike in those for a couple of hours this morning. Yep. Um, okay. Any other highlights? Not from today. Okay. Oh, well, okay, I'm going to say it. Our shuttle driver was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Liza she was, was early was, when she picked us up. She brought us a bottle of water because our water was, was frozen today. It was a our rock all day were frozen. long. Yep. We would like shake the water bottle and maybe get a couple little drip drops of water. <laughs> so she brought us water in the car. Um, she offered to take us by the grocery store on the way to the hotel. Instead, she's going to take us in the morning on our way back to trail. Yeah. Um, and then she just texted us and said, hey, I'm going to stop at McDonald's for breakfast. Do you want me to bring you McDonald's breakfast? And we're like, ah, yes. yes. <laughs> so so. Uh, Liza is awesome. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and she wasn't even who we were trying to get to show us. She wasn't yep. even on the list, but she was fantastic. So. Absolutely. Um, Thrilled with that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Four months later. Oh. oh. Um, Memories Please. of New Hampshire. Yeah, you go first today. <laughs> okay. You made me go first for me. Um, so yeah, I probably should have thought about this a little more. But you had um, all day. <laughs> um, so, so the, we left the last one with with two things for me. One that uh, one of mine was how the low of leaving Maine, mm. and the other one was the people mm. in Maine. Mm. So I'm gonna kind of that was a high, not a low. Uh, well, yeah, not, right. Um, so. Uh, 
leaving Maine was a low, and the first day in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. it uh, cleared up a little bit. The mm -hmm. sun came out for the first time in like a week. And we walk into town, and there's a guy, I won't say his name because he's not into uh, YouTube and all, but a, a, another through hiker on his own zero day doing trail magic. As we were coming yeah. off basically our worst week in yeah. uh, um, it, it, on the trip so far. He was and right near the trail. He was right he near the trail. He had, and, uh, and we just sat cool. down for like half an hour eating watermelon with him. And yeah, it was absolutely. And with them. Yeah, and, and so it, 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 that was the, like the, the, the beginning of New Hampshire yeah. was perfect right there that. because of that. Right um, and so that kind of combines the two thing, two of the things uh, from, yeah. from Maine um, that suddenly changed in. Uh, um, anyway, so I, I, that, that's, that's first your for first me. one for New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with the geography then. Okay. And say uh, the White Mountains in New Hampshire were spectacular, and uh, I was quite intimidated by them. <laughs> and the first day we went up into the Whites at Wildcat E was another sketchy trail day. I've had five days on trail I thought I would die. Four were in Maine. One was that day going yeah. into the, the White Mountains. Um, but once we got through that day, mm -hmm. the rest of the whites were spectacular. I loved Madison, which was a giant rock pile. I loved Washington. And uh, just the, the what's it called? Franconia Ridge. Franconia Ridge just yep. a whole lot of the whites were just really beautiful for us. So yep. that was and we like, have to go back to Franconia Ridge. Yeah, uh, in better weather. Yep. But still, it was, it was just spectacular. Yep. Um, and so that was a highlight for me in New Hampshire. And the other thing is, in New Hampshire, everybody kept telling us the Nobos... As soon as you get through the whites, it gets so much easier. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we go up the last mountain, which was Musalak. Or Musalaki. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and up sucked. Hey, that was, was my one day on trail, I know, or the first well, day, the first trail, day that you almost did. died. Um, but it was just this super steep, up a waterfall, super sketch, just black. And we get to the top, and we there was no room in the shelter. It was raining. We ended up pitching our tent in a giant puddle. It was just, it was miserable. The next day, we go down the other side of Musalak, and it's down not... down a waterfall again. Except it was called the trail. But it wasn't bad at all. Down yeah. Musalak for me was not bad at all. And we get down there, we go through a meadow, and it was still yeah. wet and rainy, and yeah. our feet were wet. But it was like all of a sudden we were hiking on trail, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, we're out of the White Mountains. This is pretty cool." And yeah. so the rest of New Hampshire was really the first time for me where I felt like we were just hiking, mm -hmm. um, and the first time I had a glimmer of hope we might actually get through this thing. Yeah. So that, for me, geographically was big in New Hampshire. Okay, and I, I'll I'll say uh, that that first day you were talking about Wildcat um, yeah. it being a uh, another sketch for you. Yeah. It was the end of that day going up Carter Dome yeah. that where I was at a. It, I thought the trip was at the bottom, leaving Maine. Um, it, it was going up Carter Dome that it that it turned around. Um, yeah, because we added that, bonus. In because my I mind, was also saying that I don't know if I can do the right. whites. And, and in my mind, and, it, that was where it turned yeah. around when we uh, ended up going up over Carter Dome when we were planning on it. Yeah, but, and what was cool about that is we did all the Wildcats, D, backwards, DC, whatever. E, D, C, B, A. There we go. Whew, late night. Uh, and uh, went into the Carter Hut. Mm -hmm. And they, the woman working at the crew working at the hut one of them was so great she's like okay here's three different stealth sites and here's different distances from the hut and she was so helpful yeah. and we ended up pushing to the third one she'd recommended a yep. high point or something um mount height, height mountain mount yeah. height. Mount yeah. height and uh it was the first time we had pushed bonus miles mm -hmm. where we had really had to scale back miles and we did scale back miles a lot in the whites but that was the first day we were both like hey we can do more than we thought we could yep. do which okay. is nice. Uh, back on the people thing. Okay. Um, New Hampshire is, I think, where we got adopted as uh, trail parents. So, it is. <laughs> uh, so they, it was they, on they, your birthday. They, on my birthday, yeah. With the, um, Previously uh, known as the Mountain Turtles, now known as the Chili Dogs. But we'll just call it, refer to them as the kids. The kids. Um, we call so, them the kids. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, 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 that was an awesome, you know, it, it, and yeah. we... we connected with them for for a while yeah we had seen yeah. them for a while before then but that was the night when uh they sang happy birthday to you and then uh yep. called down to our tent they were all in the shelter like plant man can we adopt you as our dad <laughs> and i was like not with any allowance no but then that joke kept going for the next two months i mean yep okay yeah. and they were they were good folks 
That's New Hampshire for um, me. So New Hampshire, I'm going to add one more. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of YouTuber people that, yeah. that I was a fangirl of in New Hampshire. Yep. Literally everybody I would have wanted to meet, with one exception, um, I met uh, in New Hampshire, which is really cool. The one exception is Fresh Ground from Leapfrog Cafe that I'm still hoping we're going to meet. Hey, in, uh, <laughs> if someone talks to Fresh Ground, tell, tell him to, wait to for hang us. out in Georgia we're till slow, we're there. We're slow, but wait for us. We're coming. Um, but I know he's in Georgia right now, and we're hoping to get there before he's done for the season. Um, but he's the only one that I really would like to meet that I haven't yet. And so every other other YouTuber that I've watched, and some of them are super famous, some of them are not, um, we got to meet in New Hampshire. So that, for yep. me, was just a highlight of New Hampshire as well. Awesome. Great state. That's also the first time there's somewhere on trail I want to go back to. I know you want to go back to Maine mm -hmm. and do those terrible last few days. I want to go back and do the Franconia Ridge again. So yep. that's the first time we were like, hey, this is cool enough. We want to do it again. So that was kind of fun. Okay. And that's New Hampshire. That's it. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.